A Twin Cities police officer hospitalized after being shot during a deadly confrontation. The shooting happened yesterday morning. A man from Oakdale died when officers executed a search warrant at a home on Granite Avenue. Police say they encountered the man and, in their words, a weapon or weapons were used. The officer suffered a gunshot to his arm. The man later died at a hospital. Officers from Oakdale and the BCA had been at the house. That's why St. Paul police are investigating what happened. Wells Fargo can keep its rooftop signs in downtown Minneapolis, at least for now. A judge yesterday denied the Vikings' request for an injunction that would have forced the bank to remove or cover two rooftop signs near the new U.S. Bank Stadium. The judge said the group overseeing the stadium construction has not shown that it would suffer irreparable harm if an injunction was not granted. So the Vikings sued Wells Fargo last month, arguing the bank is using illuminated rooftop signs on two buildings near the stadium to essentially photobomb the facility. It's named for rival U.S. Bank. Wells Fargo said the signs at its new towers are within its rights under contract. With no injunction, that means the case now goes to trial, and in the meantime, settlement talks expected to get underway. The deadline is Sunday to sign up for Minsure for 2016, and as that cutoff date approaches, we are learning the state spent at least $115 million on eligibility mistakes last year. That's according to a new report from the legislative auditor. It found the state did not verify whether some who enrolled in public health insurance programs were actually eligible for those benefits. The auditor says that cost taxpayers anywhere from 115 to 271 million dollars. In general, I say I'm not surprised that they found problems. And uh, again, I think it's important to look at the positive side of what has improved and what's uh, working well. The state human services commissioner also said she thinks the error rate in the audit is overstated and the number of eligibility mistakes is much lower. 